early trailers and gameplay footage of Resident Evil Village have suggested the game brings the slower, more intense first-person gameplay of RE7 to a game world that's a little more like Resident Evil 4, the classic Resident Evil game that also takes place in a village. An early preview of the new entry in the franchise has suggested that this is exactly right. RE Village looks like a combination of RE7 and the more action-oriented RE4. Capcom gave us a hands-off look at a relatively early portion of the game, which takes place in both the aforementioned village and later in Dimitri's Castle, the location previously shown in the first RE Village demo titled Maiden. The village portion of the game has heavy Resident Evil 4 vibes, with the protagonist Ethan fighting off hordes of werewolf-like creatures, using furniture to barricade doors and explosive barrels to take out multiple enemies at once. The combat also brings back elements from RE7, like raising your hands or your weapon to block incoming attacks from enemies so you can take less damage. While PlayStation owners who jumped into last week's demo got a sense of the village portion of the game, our preview also included its next section, the castle, where Ethan has to deal with the vampiric Lady Dimitris and her daughters. From the new hands-off footage Capcom provided, the castle looks like a pretty big change of pace from the action-heavy village. Very quickly, Ethan is captured by the vampire daughters, but manages to escape their grasp when they leave him to seek orders from their leader, Mother Miranda. It seems like you'll spend a lot of your time in the castle trying to avoid Dimitris and her daughters. Enough games! I want that man's head! Now go! Of course, Mother. If you run into one of the vampires, the impression from the preview is that you won't be able to harm them with your weapons. Like in the Maiden demo, the daughters will disappear in a swarm of bugs and reappear in other places to attack you, so Ethan has to make a run for it whenever he encounters them. That doesn't mean there's no combat in the castle, though. As Ethan explores, looking for those classic Resident Evil items like crests to open locked doors, he'll sometimes encounter the werewolf-like enemies from the village area. In the higher portions of the castle, there are even some with bat-like wings to deal with. To help you with combat, you can visit the Duke, Resident Evil Village's shopkeeper. Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. He serves pretty much the same function as the merchant from RE4, providing you with ammo, healing items, and even weapon upgrades to purchase. You can also sell him valuables you find in things like boxes and vases, so just like in RE4, it pays to break stuff and pick up everything. Just know that you'll have to keep your inventory tidy in order to have room for all the things you collect. Again, just like RE4. Though you'll sometimes have to use your guns, the castle has a very similar vibe to the Baker House in Resident Evil 7, where you had to avoid enemies like Jack Baker rather than try to fight them. Ethan explores a lot of the areas that were covered in the Maiden demo, and he'll often find himself following Lady Dimitris as he sneaks around. Eventually, though, Lady Dimitris will come after you herself. Wait long. Like her daughters, she seems impervious to your weapons. The good news is that, since she has to duck down to go through every doorway, she's pretty slow and you can outrun her. In the preview, Ethan loses Lady Dimitris by running through a few different doors and circling back to the foyer area that he's trying to cross. Eventually in the preview, Ethan solves enough puzzles to make his way to the castle's upper reaches, and it's around there that our preview with Resident Evil Village ends. What's interesting between the village and the castle is that each area has something of a different focus. Even though combat with enemies is a big part of this game, the village section has a very Resident Evil 4 feel, while the castle, with its elusive and seemingly invincible enemies, takes a page from other RE titles, like RE3 and RE7. That makes us wonder if other classic ideas from the Resident Evil franchise might inform later sections of the game as Ethan searches for his missing daughter. But we'll have to wait for Resident Evil Village to release on May 7th to find out. We've got even more Resident Evil Village coverage on GameSpot, including the full preview of everything we saw in our hands-off demo. You can also read about the return of the Mercenaries mode and the schedule for Village's upcoming demos. 